Have you ever looked at a tiny patch of a sky and wondered what's out there? In 2004, the Hubble Space Telescope did just that. It stared at a small patch of dark sky seemingly absent of any stars, but it looked for a long time and captured the famous Hubble Ultra D field image. Nearly every dot you see in this picture is a galaxy. Some are nearby, others are billions of light years away. But what is a galaxy? A galaxy is a huge group of stars, gas and dust, held together by gravity. Most galaxies contain billions of stars. We live inside the Milky Way galaxy, which has over 100 billion stars. But it is just one of billions of galaxies in the universe. There are so many galaxies, and to make sense of them, scientists group them into categories. This helps us to understand how galaxies form and change. In 1936, Edwin Hubble created one of the first systems for classifying galaxies. It is called the Hubble Turing Fork Diagram, where he divided galaxies into three main types based on their shapes elliptical, lenticular, and spiral. Elliptical galaxies, they look round or oval. They're shaped like balls or pebbles. They are made up of old red stars, and they appear fuzzy and have no distinct features. These galaxies have very little dust or gas, so they cannot form many new stars. Ellipticals make up about half of the galaxies we observe. Some of the largest galaxies ever seen are ellipticals. On the Hubble Tuning Fork Diagram, elliptical galaxies sit along the section labelled E0 to E7. You will notice that some are more circular, called E0, while others are elongated, with the most stretched ones being E7. Lenticular galaxies. They get their name from the lens shape. They look similar to elliptical galaxies, but they are flatter when viewed from the side, or a John, and they look more rounded when we view them from the front or face on. They have bright centers but no spiral arms. They have very little star formation and they aren't very common compared to elliptical and spiral galaxies. On the Hubble Tuning Fork diagram, lenticular galaxies are found between ellipticals and spirals and labeled as S0. Spiral galaxies they have bright centers with arms that spiral outwards. These arms contain lanes of dust and gas. When we look closely, we see that spiral galaxies have three main features. The bulge in the center, which is made of older stars. The disk, where young stars and dusts are found. The halo, which contains some of the oldest stars in the galaxy. Spiral galaxies are very active in forming new stars. They make up almost all of the other half of the galaxy population. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is a spiral galaxy. There are two types of spiral galaxies. Normal spirals, with arms that extend directly from the bright center, and barred spirals, where a bar-shaped structure stretches across the center. On the Hubble Tuning Fork, the diagram branches into these two types. Normal spirals are on the top branch and the barred spirals are on the bottom. Hubble's system is very helpful, but it has limits. Astronomers have discovered more types of galaxies which do not fit into the tuning fork diagram. One example is irregular or peculiar galaxies. These galaxies have no clear shape or structure. Some of them form when galaxies collide or interact with each other. There are also dwarf galaxies. They are much smaller than normal galaxies, but can have similar features to elliptical spirals or irregulars. To improve this, scientists have created more systems. One example is the system created by Gerard de Vaucalaire in 1959. It is called the de Vaucalaire system, which builds on Hubble's Turing fork, but adds more details about galaxies' shapes and features. Instead of three main types, it introduces subcategories for galaxies, 
providing a more complete picture of their structure. More modern systems go even further. They look at properties like galaxy colours, which show how active a galaxy is in forming new stars. Star movement, which reveals how fast different parts of a galaxy rotate. And chemical composition, which tells us what elements are present and how galaxies evolve. Classifying galaxies has come a long way since Hubble's time. Each new system builds on the lost, helping scientists uncover the secrets of the universe. Each galaxy is like a chapter in the mystery story of space. It unlocks more information about how our universe formed and how it is changing. The next time you look at the stars, remember, hidden in the dark are billions of galaxies and each one has a story.